Doesn't get any prettier than this, Stan. Sure doesn't. Voicemail, I'm just the writer. What do you want? Stanley, I know you're there. Pick up. Stanley. Stanley, you son of a bitch! This is not funny. Not funny at all. You sent me blank pages! You wanted pages. I was supposed to turn in your script today. Do you know how this makes me look? Like an idiot. Exactly. So what? You're an agent. <laughs> Very funny. Where is Garden of Flesh? In your hand. It's blank, Stanley. Well, it's a fast read. There's nothing to read. So? Send them in. They never read them anyway. Stanley, what's the holdup? I'm doing research. The damn film is going into production. What kind of research? Well, I've kidnapped a girl and I'm holding her hostage to learn bits of character and motivation. <laughs> what character? What motivation? It's a dead teenager movie. He slices. He kills naked teenagers. He doesn't slice. He drowns them. Whatever. Just get to work. Okay. I'll drown the girl. I love that. I love that. That is good. Call me. <laughs> Ten four, Sheriff. He just came in. It's freezing out there. Is the coffee hot? Yep. So, where is the sheriff? Working the game. Oh, uh, sheriff says you're behind in your paperwork. That's because I'm too busy fighting crime to keep up with my paperwork. Yeah. A lot of crime on the lake this time of year. Yep. It's a jungle out there. Good evening, Kimberly. How are you?
I brought you clean clothes and some clean underwear. If you have to go to the hospital, you don't want to be caught wearing dirty underwear. I've spoken to you about your attitude. You don't want me to have to punish you, do you? No, sir. Then put this on. I thought we'd take the boat out, maybe go for a swim. Sorry about this, but my agent says I have to get to work. No. No, please. How do you feel? Right now, knowing you're gonna die, how do you feel? Okay. You're too terrified to talk. That's good. That's good. But don't hold your breath. It just makes it worse. somebody off on the way over. So what did I miss? First reel, just all our best stuff. Girl lost her head. In the first reel? <laughs> yeah. Who writes this crap anyway? Yeah, you. 
So are you working on something? Yeah, I'm writing a screenplay for a bad movie. How do you know it's bad if you're still writing it? Well, they don't make good movies anymore. <laughs> well, you're having fun at least, right? Well, yeah, I'm enjoying the research. Well, what's it about? Man's inhumanity to man. Or woman. <laughs> That's pretty deep. <laughs> no, actually it is. Deep, I mean. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> down in the big city. How come it's always the cute ones that go missing? Yeah, I know. If somebody tried that around here, I'd put a fish hook through his gullet and drag him across the lake. Oh, man, that's cold. That is cold.
body molding game. Yes! Oh my god, Garden of Flesh, it's ours, baby. Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! We got a script? I don't know. I don't even know if it's done, but we got work to do. They need bodies. All right! How many dead girls do we need? Fax says six could be more. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, buddy? Six, yeah. maybe more! Yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe more! Hi, Stan. Hey, Melon. Fill it up, please. Nothing biting? Nah, it's dead down there. Hey, Melvin. What's up, Stanley? Not much, Boone. How's the script coming? Great. I don't know how you do it. If I had to sit down and stare at a computer all day, it'd make me crazy. <laughs> Logan, 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 Logan. He's a writer. We humor him. He turns in the pages. Then we hire somebody else to rewrite, preferably one of my own clients. Mm-hmm. Well, can't we hire someone to rewrite the blank pages? Oh, what the hell is he doing? I swear to you, Logan, he's working, slaving away at this very moment. Yeah. But on what? Your film. What else would he be working on? <laughs> Any ideas? Creative input? Thing. It's beginning to be like a phobia. You gotta get over it. It's, it's Malibu. It's sun. Fun. Everyone's going. On a boat. Small popcorn, please. Butter? Don't. You know, a lot of people don't like boats. Oh, it's not the boats. It's the water. <laughs> and it's not a problem. I just stay away from it. Thanks. You're the young lady from the movie theater. Popcorn, no butter. Why did you slam on the damn brakes? I'm really sorry. Look at this cat ran across the road and I had to stop, but he didn't want to hit it. My dogs, I wonder if they're. Oh.
I'm not here and I can't afford voicemail. I'm just the writer. What do you want? Damn it, Stanley, pick up! What's all this underwater gardening all about? And why does he drown all the girls? Logan does not get it. Maybe your psycho can chop one with an axe or something. Call me. Call me. Call me. You don't look happy. Screw you. Would you like to eat? Leave the food, freak! I'm going to need to wash your clothes. Please put them in this bag. I'm staring at the computer. Good. Good. That's a start. Logan loves your work. Well, then why doesn't he shoot what I wrote? Stan, he's the director. It's his vision. He wants changes. Get some hack. Logan wants you. Logan Lowell presents a Logan Lowell film directed by Logan Lowell and written by... written by who? You sound bitter. Oh, um, the killings are getting redundant. Uh, can you maybe kill a stronger girl? The other ones have been so meek. I think I've got one. She'll be the last. And then my garden will be complete. <laughs> Whatever. Do the changes. Take the money. It doesn't matter that much, Stanley. You know you're my favorite... I'm drawing you a bath. You can't put clean clothes on a dirty body. I'm not gonna look. You don't get it. I don't care what you do. Another one. Yeah, pretty girl. Cops in LA are gonna have their hands full. Can you imagine the TV show, Summit Lake Cops? Ooh, action-packed. Honor student in high school, good parents. Working her way through college. You know, this is some sick stuff. You build a house. A beautiful house full of detail and little bits of design that are so unique and meaningful that the house isn't just a house, but somehow becomes art. And a man comes along and he says, I love your beautiful house. And he buys your house. And he tears it down. And he builds a prefab stucco tract home right where it stood. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. theater, your fear of water, that is interesting. A true phobia, how would that interact with true fear? 
get out of here. I think we are going to be friends. So cool. The Garden of Flesh wants us to do second unit on a creature feature. Here? No, no, Oregon. But the thing is, we get to test all the equipment here. Battery pack is sealed to 300 feet. Oh, well, we'll test it. Yeah, and how am I involved in all this? <laughs> You're gonna help us! Night dive! <laughs> it's cold at night. You're the lake patrol, you gotta be prepared. You can't measure lumens in the daytime. <laughs> it's cold at night. <laughs> Logan wants to change the title. Mm, we're thinking of taking a higher road. It's a dead teenager movie. Mm -hmm, but it could be so much more. I mean, uh, a black comedy. I see some hilarious moments. It's a great opportunity. He throws live girls overboard and makes them dead girls. What's funny about that? Well, then he dives underwater and he gardens them. I know what he does. It's an opportunity to delve into character. There's more money involved. Oh, I thought you said this was going to be an art film. It is. Then it should be less money. Stanley. Can we please discuss just a little less money and more character? He is a serial killer. He drowns teenage girls and then he gardens their underwater graves. Building out there, Stanley. You get a lot better deal if you buy these blocks for the truckload. Bookcases. You don't need at least two for that? I'll be back. Human versus chain. The chain usually wins. Take it off and see who wins. You want to hurt me? Have I hurt you? Or would you like me to let you go? Yes. Well, that is what I'm going to do. But I have to blindfold you so you can't see where we are. And I have to tie your hands together for my own safety. Do we have a deal? any deeper than this. It's gonna be okay. We're just gonna go for a little ride. Step down. Step down. Step. Again. Again. Here we go. 
Now, step up. Good girl. See you on the bottom. You're the lake patrol. You've got to be prepared. Actually, I am. There's just one little problem. Now, I know that you don't like boats. I can't go. I can't go out on the water. Well, there's a pier at the other side of the lake. And that's where I'm gonna let you go. You can only get there by boat. Now, can you do it? Can you be brave? Good. How are you doing? Just get me on dry land, please. I am really proud of you. We're here. We're at the dock. Now I want you to stand up. Come on. There we go. Walk over here. My feet. It's okay. There you go. Now I'm gonna take the blindfold off, and you just leave, okay? I lied. You are very special. Usually, I don't drop my girls right over the garden. But you're the last one, and I want you to see it. Deputy Sheriff, do you know who did this to you? Okay, let's get her on the boat.
Are you out of your mind? We can do it, Dan. We're raising those bodies at first light. I can't leave them down there as bait. You bring those bodies up tomorrow, he'll be gone, I guarantee it. You're really willing to do this? <laughs> Whatever it takes to catch this son of a bitch. It's her idea. She knows him. She wants to do it. Honey. Mallory. Mallory. Yes, sir. What makes you so sure the guy will go down there tomorrow? He kept talking about his garden and how he had to keep it clean. Well, now I've seen his garden. Every day, he would leave me to go tend it. And about two hours later, he would come back to feed me. Every day. He's a serial killer. Very ritualistic. He'll be back regular on. It's a big lake, Dan. There's 200 cabins, most of them rentals. This guy could be anywhere. Mallory thought they drove for about a half hour before they got to the boat. We can't exactly knock on every door and hope the bad guy answers. You know how many places there are up in those hills. Or you can bring those bodies up and you can get the FBI out here and they can do a 30-mile radius search of the lake. And at the end of all that, you know what they're going to find? An empty cabin. You really think this will work? If Duncan and Lauren say they can do it, they can do it. Okay, 24 hours, and we're bringing those bodies up. Here, read this and give notes. I don't know what kind of range this is going to have underwater. Well, we don't have time to test it. Who's he? Oh, that's Clayton. He's the resident electronics nerd and special effects genius. Mm. There's a whole movie colony here at the lake. Really? Yeah, there's Stan, he's a screenwriter, just sold a script, a bunch of stunt guys, and a lot of movie people come on weekends. Hmm. This is the knife we use to cut away the mold with. Here, you try. Now you breathe through this tube, it's rather claustrophobic, some people can't handle it, even though the mold sets up very quickly. How quickly? 30 minutes. Okay, we're ready. Stay very still, it's almost over. Just pretend it's the mother of all facials.
Are you sure you want me to stay here tonight? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you okay with this? I'm okay with this. Hey. Look. I know that I may be a little emotional and everything because you saved my life, but just don't... You know, don't be thinking you can take advantage of the situation because I'm tired and you finally got out of that uniform. Do good work, huh? We're burning daylight. Let's go. Sheriff's on the other end of this radio. You see anybody remotely resembling the guy, we're two minutes away. Got it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, Boone. Nobody out there but one old guy fishing. We're leaving now. I'm not here and I can't afford voicemail. I'm just the writer. What do you want? Stanley, I have notes from Logan. Does our guy have to garden the girls? What if he, like, brought them presents and flowers? Weird stuff like that. Think about it.
camera in the left eye. Pretty neat, huh? You're the best, Clay. I love the idea of hiding the antenna in our hair. You know where you first wanted to put it? <laughs> no, but I don't want to know. The dummy is moving. There's nobody out there. Not a boat in sight. What's going on? The dummy's moving. You see anyone? Not right now. He, he must be pulling her. I'm heading out. I could get deputized for this action. Not a chance. Whoa, there he is. Closer. There's somebody down there. We can see him. Who is it? We can't tell. It's a scuba diver. Oh no. What? He made us. is not coming back. You had your shot. Now we're going to do it by the book. Top me off, will you, Mel? How you doing, Stan? Never better. 
Hey, what's going on at the end of the lake? I think they found a body. A toilet with no lid on the tank. A sink. A bare mattress on the floor. No furniture. No windows. A chain anchored to the center of the room. And his van had a sign on the back. Show dogs, do not tailgate. nose was broad, long, not long. It, yeah. so weird. And the more we do this, the more confused I get. Kind of looks like you, Boone. Thanks, Sheriff. That kind of looks like Stan. Who's he? A friend of mine. Lives on the lake. Mm. This guy's cabin wasn't actually on the water. We had to drive a ways to get to the boat, so... Stan is a little weird. He's a writer. This guy wasn't a writer. Maybe an architect? He kept talking about... building houses. to keep in touch. I will go. Uh, um, Mallory, you don't want to bring this, do you? Quite honestly, Duncan, I... Yeah, I get the picture. You know, I'll take it. Just keep it here, and don't let Boone anywhere near it. <laughs> Movie night's Thursdays, you know, if you're ever around. Okay, Clayton. I'll be there. Thanks, you guys. It almost worked. Yeah, almost. <laughs> He's probably halfway to Mexico by now. Feels like a... like a dream, you know? whole thing. Well, by tomorrow morning, the FBI will be running the show. The whole circus will be here. All except for the freak. Would you stick around? Well, he's not exactly sane, Boone. I always thought of myself as a pretty nonviolent public radio kind of girl. Yeah. But I swear if I ever see that guy again. You 
you've got cold hands. Yeah. I always have. That's why I hate the water. You want me to look under the bed? Actually, I'd like you to stick around. I'd like to, but, um... But what? Uh... I'm on duty and there's a serial killer on the... Loose. Halfway to Mexico. I should probably get going. Uh, while I still can. <laughs> Come visit me in L.A.? Absolutely. And you'll be out of uniform. Completely. I'll see you in the morning. Deja vu. You know, I thought I drowned you. 
third act. Well, I'm back from the dead, apparently. Yeah, that's good, actually. The zombie thing. I can use that. This is a story? Yes. It's about that last breath you take. That last second right before you die. Not a happy ending. But could it have one? Yeah, it could. I just go away. I never bother you again. So boring. Don't you want to know? I've been there. I know. That last second is magic. Mallory? No, that doesn't mean anything by itself. Room was paid for when she checked in. That being the case, she doesn't have to check out. About what time did housekeeping clean the room? About eight or so. Nothing out of the ordinary? Nope. Just an empty room. Thanks. Mm. Stanley, I see you finishing your bookcase. I said I'd be back. Excuse me, sir. I guess, can I help you? Um, we're trying to find the creature bar. Oh, yeah. You just drive right down there. It'll be on your left. Thank you.
I know a place that's dark, raining all the time. So cold and lonely, but it's mine. Don't believe in saving grace, any kind. If you would just open up your heart, give of yourself a little. Expecting us, isn't he? Of course, dear. Just checking. You know writers. Stanley's an eccentric. He just loves his privacy. He's written so much wonderful stuff down here. Oh, goody, goody. We're in nature. You remember Logan, your director? You were just driving by? <laughs> Cute. Aren't you happy to see me? You know I am. You know, Stanley, you really should check your messages. I called and called. Um, I thought we'd go for a bite. I'm sure there's a quaint little someplace on the lake. Now, let's eat here. I was just about to prepare dinner. You cook? And then we can discuss cabin, or is it garden now? I assume that's why you're both here. Okay, which one of you lovely, lovely ladies wants to go first? Me, I'll first! Woo! Okay, you. <laughs> Put this cap on and tuck in all your hair. And uh, take off all your clothes. Like, right here? Like, right here. Stanley, do you have a hanger? I need to know his motivation. Hire a real actor, not some pretty boy from TV. He'll find the motivation. It's mm. his job. But I need to know. What could possibly motivate someone to kidnap another human being, throw her over the side of a boat at night, and then return to visit the body? You've been reading too many screenwriting books. Look, it is simple. Boy gets girl. Boy drowns girl. Boy gets girl back. Any questions? We haven't even seen a script for this. Yeah, well, they changed the name. Instead of Garden of Flesh, yeah, it's now called Cabin by the Lake. What's the story? It's about this crazy guy who kidnaps teenage girls and then throws them into a lake. And then he, like, goes back and visits their bodies with scuba gear and stuff. We play like naked dead girls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Who wrote the script? Who cares? Who wrote the script? I don't know, some guy who cares who wrote it. You know, I know that some girls won't do nudity, but I don't mind. You know, if it's, like, necessary. Who I wrote the damn script? Who wrote the damn script? Well, okay. Do you have, like, a cell phone? 600 against 1.2. Did I stutter? <laughs> 
Stanley, who's here? I'm just offering suggestions, some creative input. I am the director, after all. Yes! Now say it with me. One point two. Very good. <laughs> Stanley, Stanley, where's Logan? Yes, that's it, one point two. Well, is that a problem? Because I am about to ask for 1.5. Oh, come on. Creative differences. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> How did you do that? Logan, get up! Mm. 1.5. She's got to go. Oh! Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> I'm just his agent. <laughs> Some guy named Stanley Caldwell. <laughs> Satisfied? You're kidding. Boy drowns girl again. Can you say the end? Stanley, I can get you a directing gig. Don't you want to direct? That's what I'm doing. You're crazy! Now you get it.
You're okay. It's okay. We need something to cut rope with, Dunk. We don't have anything. We gotta get that woman. What do you want us to do? Let's pick it up at first light. We're looking for bodies now anyway. Agent. The movie's postponed. Like, why? Somebody killed the director. Do we still get paid? Boone, they found the woman. What about Stanley? They were tied together. Not there. Rope was there. Can't search the entire lake bottom for him. They were tied together. Boone, if he got away. No, he's dead. They had nowhere to begin with. We were there for 20 minutes. Nobody surfaced. You're right. The body will float up in the next week or two. Yeah, we'll keep our eye out. I hope the fish pick him clean. There's nothing down there. There's nobody here. It's okay. Let me get you a blanket.
That is so hot. Great story. It's it's like cabin by the lake without the water. I just I have one question. So he buries these girls alive, right? Right, in his backyard. So how does he choose them? By their hands. Whether or not they fit his. Scary. You've been chosen. <laughs> How long does it take to die when you're buried like that? I don't know. I'm still doing the research.